add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll, euro, euro, peso, peso, add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll, euro, euro, peso, peso, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? What am I doing? I'm just getting ready. I'm brushing my teeth and stuff and getting ready to go play. Ah, she's alive. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Uh, wifey's awake. Don't. Love you, honey. Don't fuck with me today. Don't fuck with you today? No. How'd you sleep? You sleep okay? No. What? No. <laughs> no. Why? Stop. Okay, I'll turn it off. I love you. No. No. <laughs> Good morning, boys. What you doing? They smell like outside? You smell like outside? Do you smell like outside? Huh? You smell like outside? Is that what you smell like? Oh, good job, boy. Do your thing. Oh, that's what I love to see. He does this all the time. He's demanding. And then you, and you're jealous. And you're jealous, right? You're like, no, touch me. No, touch me. Okay, I'll touch you both. I'll put the camera down and give you guys all the loves. Oh, yeah, you want loves? I give you loves. I'll give you all the loves. All right, off we go to the Rio. Lots going on today. We got a whole heap of things going on today. First things first, I want to talk about, I mentioned it yesterday a little bit, didn't want to spoil the news, but you won't see this till it already happened. So we are adding to the roster at GG Poker, somebody who was really going to help out with a very specific community, which GG Poker in a lot of ways was built on. And essentially who that person, well, that person is Jason Kuhn. So Jason Kuhn is a well-respected member of the poker community, specifically the high stakes community, right? He plays high stakes. He's won a lot of money. He knows all the guys. So he has a very specific role uh, within GG now as a new ambassador, and that's going to be sort of, you know, part liaison for that media, for that uh, group of people, for that community. But in addition to that, security, which is super important, right? Like one of the most important things I think, you know, people think about when you play online poker is making sure the games are on the up and up, right? And Jason Kuhn has a deep understanding of how to like, uh, you know, do that. So really excited to have Jason, a great guy too, newly new dad he's a dad he just had a little baby so nice to uh, have him on the team working together on stuff so we'll, we'll introduce him uh in the uh that virtual conference uh, area in addition to that we have day two of the 25k we only have 10 big blinds i know but um what is the average right now the average would be let's say about 300k so the average is like 30 32 big so one double up and we're back in the game right we just need to you know make sure we win that first key pot all right why why is today such a crazy day because in addition to that oh and by the way on that note i mentioned that you know you guys are out for the piece that's for those that bought the daily piece if you bought the daily piece you're on the first bullet if you were one of the 2019 people who refunded your piece you are still alive for second bullet you got a piece of everything for you you special group who were disaffected and i wanted to make sure we made it right and i believe we did so you're still alive here with this 10 big blinds. We hope to run it up. Um, in addition to all that stuff, we got the $1,500 dealer's choice on the back burner, right? Which starts at three o'clock. And during all that, there is a 5K buy-in, no limit hold'em event online, which we'll be playing from the iPad, as well as a $500 buy-in online tournament. So we got two online tournaments. We got the dealer's choice back up. And of course, first and foremost, we got day two of 25k oh yeah and announcing jason coon on one of the breaks so busy 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 let's do this first hand of the day we go all in we of course bring out the deadly weapon which is the the phone to Okay, you know, huh? No, look at that. That was hand number one. They'll see what it is tomorrow. It's a good hand. First card ace, second card no cross. So you, I had you beat. I had you dominated. Okay. How's the finger, by the way? It's good. It bends now. Okay. Nice. Yeah. All right. Cool. All in. And he has queens, and we have ace king suited. And it was limp on the button, playing tricky. And now I went, I got sucked in with this ace king suited. Flip, here we go. Hit flip for our lives. Flip, flip, flip. Here we go. There's diamonds. Ace king or a diamond. Come on now, don't do it like this. Just put the diamond out there one time, make it easy. King, okay. Now he has two outs. Just two. Just two. signed up for? 
And there we go, nut flush, double up. <laughs> What's up, Jason Kuhn? Hi. I was just talking about you on the drive in in the video. Uh, cool, man. We'll see I you in, a, in an hour. You will? All yeah. right. That's 100. Yeah, that did it. Queen Jack of Spades, Ace Nine. That's it. See y'all. Good luck. <laughs> on to the next one. Okay, a little bit of a weird last hand there. After I doubled, I felt pretty good. Well, Jaffe raising the cutoff. I have Queen Jack of Spades on 22 to 24 bigs. I could jam there easily. It's totally fine. Um, knowing what I know about him, I feel like he probably leans towards uh, calling more than the average bear. So I decided to flat. Big blind called. So 80 in there. Check to me. Two clubs on board. Queen 99. I bet 21,000 to about 80. A quarter pot. He check raised to 50k. Kind of awkward, but there's like so many draws there and so much stuff. And I mean, I have queen jack, so I call. Turns the jack, puts it all in. I have short stacks. I have like, what did I have? 125, 150,000. But so called queens and jacks, and you know, he had ace nine off. Such is life. Uh, you always think about after you bust a tournament, like, what is there another way I could have played it to win? But you know, you're not going to be results oriented when you're doing this thinking. You're thinking about from a theoretical perspective. And from a theoretical perspective, the only thing I could do different, which I thought about, was, you know, checking back flop, which I do some of the time. In this case, I thought, uh, I, well, I, that was better. But uh, I think I'm getting stacked there no matter what. If I check back the flop, if they turn queens and jacks anyway, such is life. He had it. Oh, well, damn it. Okay, so now we take a little break in the trailer. And then uh, probably going to late reg, the dealer's choice, as well as the um the the online events because i have this thing to do here with jason at four o'clock so chill in the trailer for a bit relax watch some hockey cheers okay there have been some developments some developments the five million dollar guarantee reunion everybody laughed the five hundred dollar buy-in five hundred dollar buy-in five million guarantee during a pandemic and blah 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 guess what y'all it officially surpassed the five million mark over 10,000 entries in that big bad boy. We did not play it, of course, but it's good to see. Um, part of what that means uh, for me is that because there is an overflow of people, that uh, the dealer's choice is now delayed, which is actually good for me as well, because I plan on playing that, and you know this means I won't be as late, be, or I'm not late at all, because it hasn't even started. And bad news, my Verizon dog shit in my trailer, got no bars, nothing. So my man Christian is heading over to get an AT&T hotspot because that apparently works really good where my trailer's at. Now, heading over to uh, introduce the newest member to the team, Mr. Jason Kuhn. Very excited to have him. Really like the guy. Done everything right, you know, in terms of life and poker and, you know, well, like I said, on the drive in, you know, trustworthy dude that uh, is going to do a lot of good for the, the GG poker, eh? All right. Let's head over. Here I sit waiting for the man of the hour. It's not this guy. That's Josh Ari. <laughs> he ain't the man of the hour. He's just here filling seats. But we got Jason Kuhn showing up pretty soon here. He's on break. I'm not because we're busted. And uh, we're going to introduce him. We're going to introduce him to the peeps, the media stuff. Hello, everybody. What's going on? Okay, so we got something really cool to announce today. Uh, a guy I've known in poker for a very long time, well-respected, did everything right. And uh, he's uh, the newest member of you know, the GG Poker team, and I'm thrilled to have him. Uh, why don't you come on out? Jason Kuhn. Jason Kuhn. Oh. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. So... I'm Jason Kuhn, and I'm the new ambassador for GG Poker. So a lot of my friends are amazed at how I find balance in my life. Been married for a few years now, uh, have a couple week old baby. I'm very committed to fitness, and obviously I work very, very hard at poker. Once I was exposed to the type of work ethic required to be really good at poker, it's carried over to other elements of my life. For instance, here today I'm at a track and I'm 36 years old. I'm not as young as I was whenever I was a collegiate sprinter. And um, in the next year, I'm gonna attempt to run a time that's comparable to what I ran as a 20 year old. And I think I'm gonna do it. One of my major roles at GG Poker will be to find cheating, hunt down people using real-time assistance and software, and help protect all levels, including the highest stakes game. GG Poker, always a good game. 
All right, that was quick and painless. It's really cool to have Jason on board. He talked a little bit about game security. You know, you got people always trying to take advantage out there and it's important to have someone like a Jason on your team who knows how to catch them. All right, I just went the wrong way. Anyway, back to the trailer we go. Chill out, the dealer's choice is, uh, the dealer's choice is delayed, as we said. Um, the online, the 5K freeze out has started online already. I have a little bit of internet issue, internet, <laughs> internet issue in my trailer. But my man, uh, Christian, is on it. He is working on that problem right now with an AT&T thingy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna chill in the trailer. That's basically the point of all that jibber jabber. All right, you know what, folks? I'm gonna chill here. NHL Network will be on the TV nice and dark, relaxed. And I think I'm gonna jump right in to the 5K freeze out on WSOP.com and uh, chill in the trailer for a bit and just, you know, play this one for a while. You know, strategically, one of the things that I decided to do this World Series was a lot of the smaller buying events with bigger fields, like 1500s and stuff, was not to exert too much energy in those and, and you know, save up for the bigger ones. So the dealer choice has already started, but I got a 5K right here from the trailer. I can just relax, chill, play this for now, and uh, and then jump in a little bit later, the dealer choice. So that's what I'm gonna do, all right? And I'll share some hands as we go on the online, because I can do that in live, because, you know, you're allowed. It's a thing, you know? <laughs> It's, you know, it's fine, it's good. You can follow along with me in real time. Off the bat, we might get it in right away. So this guy opened, I three bet the button with the seven five of spades, and now I have absolutely nothing but a problem. Oh, you bet, never mind. I was gonna bluff it all. <laughs> so right now, all in. That's all I'm sure of it. And who's thinking that's Ryan LaFont pro potential? We got rubber pistol. What do we got here? Oh, oh, plus King Calls, King Wins, King Queens, King. Or value that now. Okay, and then we got Matt Stout, as I said, who is rubber fist. Bitcoin is somebody I can't remember who, but I'll look it up. Pretty card dead. Well, we finally got a pair. Eight thousand, about fourteen, fifteen bigs. Let's see, do you have something to call with? Mm, we did, Ace Jack, okay. Cool, all right. Uh. All right, peeps, so we got a nap in, which was crucial. Every time you can get an opportunity to take 30 minutes to close your eyes during this grind is worthwhile. I feel good about my decision here to come in late for the dealer's choice as i said i but going into the series i'm like dude 1500s and stuff do not show up on time because i love to play you know and i want to play but you only have so many man out or brain out brain capabilities in terms of how many hours you can put in at a high level so got the rest in we're going to jump into the dealer's choice right now um and also brought the ipad we're going to play the 500 dollars with t three re-entry two re-entry fuck some number of re-entry and the <clears throat> ooh, that smelled Whatever that was, was dead. Mm, nasty. So yeah, dealer's choice. I think here's the thing. Dealer's choice, there's like 19 different games you can choose from, right? So what's the one I should choose? Generally in a dealer's choice, you think, okay, well I play all the games, but I No Limit Hold'em is probably the one for me to pick. But there's another one that's a big bet game that I think very few people have experience with that I grew up kind of playing a little bit, and that's five card draw, no limit. There are some funky things that I like to do. Some bluffs actually, big bluffs that just work at a higher percentage than they're supposed to. So we're gonna do that. I think I'm gonna push them around a little bit. In the, like for example, I'll give you one of the, if you read three bet a guy and then you stay pat in five card draw, you're basically saying you have a straight or better, okay? So if the guy calls and you know doesn't make a straight or better, which is really hard to do. They're just, thanks bud. They're, they're gonna have to basically like decide, is he bluffing or not, you know? And I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make a pay to find out. And every once in a while, I'll actually have it too. So it's the added bonus. All right, let's do this. Hello, everybody. Hello, Daniel. 
All right, so I did the thing. Remember the thing I was talking to you guys about on the way over here? I did the thing. It's that gentleman over there. Uh, he had aces up and called, so here we go. <laughs> up a little bit here in the 500, down half our stack in that one. Uh, it's an idea, it just didn't work. What are you gonna do? Easy run in the all in right in the all online right now. I just had aces, kings, then aces, then ace ten, and now we got tens over here. And this guy's jamming. We're gonna call and see what he's got. Ace king. All right, hold the fuck off. Cock the fuck. Never win a damn flip. Save my life. Fucking flips, bro. Okay, no, no, no. Leave it. No change. Okay. Leave it as eight. We have eight. You see? Stupid. What happened in this box? Oh, did I win? It's his card. Okay. You go is like Omaha eight. Okay, so that's the board. King, four, six, deuce. River is an ace after this gentleman called me twice. Look at this beauty. Okay, that's kings, sixes, nut low, nut low counterfeit, clubs, all that shit. And he's got three, five written all over his face. So I'm gonna fold. <laughs> huh? Oh. oh, he bluffed me. Oh no. You get three quarters. Oh man, I fucked up. <laughs> nice <Put that> up. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so this same gentleman who just bluffed me right now just went all in on me and I'm hey. short step. He says, hello, hello, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call. I have three aces yeah, yeah. with stuff yeah, and he, he, he has the straight already, I'm sure. Of course he does, yeah. Okay, so I just need the board to pair. Otherwise we're off to the trail. Yeah. Waiting for your cue. Hey! Oh. <laughs> 71, 71. 71, paid in full. All right. And over here, we got our starting yeah, stack. I'm going to give them those. Great shit. I couldn't film this from the trailer, but I, I, will, I will look to mess on this last break. From the break, I'm coming back with the keys in one hand, vlog phone in another, this phone in another, a soup, okay, a bottle of water, a fork, while playing that. Well, multitasking, you know? Yeah, it was balancing out. <laughs> okay, we got a problem here. Nines don't be kings, so that's gonna be a rebuy uh, in the online. Nines do not be kings. Okay, fair. You win. All right, rebuy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Stupid ass. You see that? Freaking clean. Yeah, that's stupid, stupid. You know I'm saying for this thing here? Sevens against threes, hello, hello. All right. <laughs> Eat some of that, staller. Yes. Sevens help. Six, yeah, baby. Hell, all right. Let's go. We got there, a decent stack. Out here. We have one, two, three, five, six, and ace to five. He has one, two, three, four, five. All right. I need Rebuy the time. Plug! Rebuy time. Nice. Okay. I got my favorite hand, and I got a pair, and he bet. We're going to go like this, and we're going to go boom, and hope he doesn't have anything really good. Please don't have anything really good. Okay, he's thinking. That's good news. <laughs> The guy next to me is going, what are you doing, bro? Why are you going all in with this hand? It's no limit hold in the game. Okay. Ow, baby. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to tell you about the uh, the big hand um, while we walk. So forget about trailer. So this was an interesting hand where uh, the blinds are 300, 500 with a 500 big blind ante. Uh, early position player makes it 1,300. It's five card draw high. I have three, four, five, six with an ace relevant i call the 1300 now the button raises to 6400 so another 5000 the first player calls so direct odds i'm getting it's 55000 to win like 15 so i'm getting about three to one however i'm not three to one to hit a deuce or a seven having said that i have to assume that some high cards are out with these two guys calling which probably increases my odds a little bit um but i'm not calling here trying to hit with three to one when i, I need more without implied odds. And I figured that there was implied odds here if I hit. So I called, I did hit, and then I just jammed, I over jammed pot. Uh, we did this earlier when we were bluffing, this time we had it. First guy thought for a long time folded, but the next guy did pay me off. And that's how we have one of the big stacks in that room. Over here in the online, <laughs> it's a crazy day. There's 65 left now. We're sitting on about an average stack. So, you know, I don't know, just keep it rolling. 
are all in. Tournament on the line, and that's not good. That's not good. We are dead. Ace 10. All right. Damn. All right. Good run. Such is life. Where did we finish here? Congratulations. You finished. I don't know. I won $1,500? Nice. Good job. Alright y'all, it was a day, it was a night, 3 a.m., four tournaments, we busted three of them, we're still in one of them, about 90 players left from 300 something, we got 115,000, uh, average is about 80, 85, probably the very last hand of the night I probably could have bluffed it, I chose not to, my opponent Jack in the Box was rather intoxicated, and uh, I wasn't <laughs> sure if that meant he would fault or not, but it would have worked, so, anyway, um, that's it, y'all. Another one. I don't even know how long this vlog's gonna be because I just film all day and see what happens. So, uh, it'd be 20. I don't know. Whatever. I'm too tired to even think anymore. It's 3 a.m. That's as late as you're gonna see us play. And it all was uh, because of the delay. This event was supposed to start at 3. It didn't start at 4. So, that's it. Tomorrow, or today, for you guys watching, is also the 10K Omaha Eater Better. And uh, there'll be pieces, I believe, on Pocket Fives for that one if we play it and if not you get a refund peace y'all